Okay, this video was, or this program was actually requested by somebody. It's a program where you can check whether a an email is in a specific text file or not. Okay, so we have our text file emails.txt. Inside that text file, we have five different emails. And then in our program, we're going to ask the user to enter an e email he wants to search for. And then we're going to check whether that email is in actually in that text file. If it's in the text file, we just display yes. It's inside a memo. If, there's n if it's not found, it will display no inside the memo. Okay, the majority of the coding already did here. It will look as follow. I'm going to declare my variable text file. I'm going to make a, a variable string. I'm going to test whether that email, remember this must be the same as my text file, emails. Okay. Not a good method is actually to copy the whole thing, then you know there's no spelling mistakes. Emails.txt, test whether it's true it's not true then file not found exit don't r run the rest of the program because then you are going to get a runtime error okay assign file again this should be emails.txt uh, reset file while the file is not in the file i'm going to read the first one then the second one then the third one until we reach the end of the file and then i'm going to close my file Okay, so I'm just going to test this quickly to see whether we are actually running through this whole text file. Okay, so everything is displayed over here. So I'm going to comment out that line because I don't want to display everything in my text file. I actually want to test whether the value or the email that was entered in this edit box is actually in that text file. So I'm going to make another variable here. S search and I'm going to take the input from the edit box here the one the text and I'm going to put it in a search and then over here after I received the first line of my text file I'm going to test if a search is actually the same as that line that I received If it's actually the same so if it's the same I want to display that let's say I want to display the email that was searched for I want to display that inside my memo okay, the first time I'm not going to enter anything that will be found so there's nothing now output now I'm going to say, wait, let's go check quickly for the email. Let's use John at Yahoo. And remember that will be case sensitive. So if you're searching for John with a lowercase j, it will not find it in my text file. Okay, so john at yahoo.com was found. Okay, because it's displaying it. Let's add one at the back. Search. Now it's not going to find it. Okay, so another method that you can actually do this is use a variable like be found, make it a Boolean variable. And then I can set be found. Oops be found to false by default okay so nothing was found yet but now as i run through my program and this i do find that specific that specific email then i can say be found is equals to true okay so now when i'm done uh, i'm 
through my whole text file I can then just test if be found was true then display the name or display the email else display a message no nothing was was found Okay, nothing was found. Let's test it. They just get the a jack at Ymail. Jack at Ymail was found. Yes. Let's run it again. And now I'm gonna give it the wrong input. Nothing was found. Okay, you can add stuff like reach edit lines to clear. Memo dot lines dot clear. In front. Just before you display the stuff in the memo. Uh, another thing that you can actually do is you can make both uppercase or both lowercase. Then your search will not be case sensitive. Okay, so you can use uppercase or lowercase as well here, just to make sure your um, search is not case sensitive okay so this is basically the idea what you can do i would go with the boolean one because then you can also display a message when nothing is actually found 